ever wonder what people are saying about you on social media? Oh, that's great advice, actually. Thanks. Hi, I'm Nick, Hootsuite's Global Social Listening Specialist, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Today, I'm gonna show you the three steps I'd take to get started with social listening without spending any money. I'll go over the best practices I personally use every day at Hootsuite, where I'm the guy who has to know what people are saying, how they're feeling, and how to stop a social media crisis before it starts. Social listening is also sometimes called social media monitoring or social intelligence, but basically it involves tracking keywords, mentions, and conversation on social media in real time and over time. You'll find out what people are saying about your brand, your competitors, and your industry. And with the right tool, yeah, I use Hootsuite to listen for Hootsuite, obviously, you'll get your alerts for unusual spikes in volume or sentiment. Then that could be positive or negative. It's essentially audience research and competitive intelligence that will help you make better decisions about your social marketing, also about your business overall, like what your hours of operation should be, or if your billing processes should change, or what your next product feature should be. Some examples of social listening might be tracking a hashtag uh, for real life events so that you can join in on the public conversation, tracking sentiment during a crisis so that you know how your business and, and social team should respond, and monitoring for people who are talking about your brand uh, without necessarily mentioning or at tagging your brand, okay, so that you can engage with them. Look, I'll give you an example. If a tree falls on Twitter and I don't get a push notification because I didn't have a listening query set up for that, somebody's going to be in trouble because we missed that. If I was working for an organization that had never done social listening before and we had to budget or we had no budget, the first thing I'd do is sign up for a free version of Hootsuite. Then I'd do three things. First, I'd set up a listening stream for all of my brand keywords. Uh, that includes my brand name, branded hashtags, uh, product names, the CEO or the spokesperson's name. And I'd set this up for each platform I'm using. That could be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, maybe LinkedIn, okay? And this will show you a much wider picture than just the posts that you've been tagged in. Second, I'd start listening for competitive intelligence. Essentially, that means repeating step one, except with my competitors. Uh, that's putting in their names, hashtags, products, people, you get the gist. Basically, understanding what their customers are saying, that can help you, and that can help you identify opportunities to beat them at their own game. And then third, I'd widen my scope and set up listening streams for my industry as a whole. So for an instance, if I'm a landscaping business, I might look at some broader keywords like lawn care or hardscaping or front yard. Okay? And then I'd also geotag that search for the city I work in so that I don't see irrelevant results. And here's a bonus tip. It helps to know how to use Boolean operators to widen or narrow search results. I put a link in the description below if you uh, want more details. What's that? Seriously? And now, and now a word from our sponsors. Tired of wearing too many hats? Schedule your social media posts, stay on top of your conversations, and figure out what your audience loves so you can give them more of it in less time from one dashboard. Get your free Hootsuite Pro trial today and do one job you love, not 12 of them. But why are we sponsoring our own videos? Okay, this next tip is for anyone who already has the basics of social listening down and has some budget set aside to dig deeper and get more sophisticated. In the case that you have some money, you could try an enterprise level tool like, for instance, Hootsuite Insights. In my day to day, I use this tool to one, track sentiment rather, rather than kind of guesstimating based on individual posts or anecdotal evidence, you get a visualization of the emotions in a conversation. That's really useful. Two, I also use it to get alerted to spikes in volume or sentiment. So if people are talking a lot about your company all of a sudden, you want to know why. Right? Then once you've figured that out, you can learn from it. And if it's positive, you can strategize on how to repeat that. And finally, number three, the most important step in social listening is making sure that you share all of this information with the people who can use it to better make decisions. 
okay? So at Hootsuite, I make regular reports and I also follow the MTA rule. If I see something, I say something. For instance, I recently noticed that a competitor got a big bump in positive sentiment. And that came from a blog post about hashtags. I took that information to our own blog team so that they could learn from our competitors' success. Okay, you're gonna love this. So this is a mention report by hour that shows all of the mentions for our competitors over the last two days. And if you look right there, see right there, that's our mentions in the last two hours. And it's spiked way up because we have a new blog post about social listening that's doing really well. Okay, that's all for now. If you've watched this far, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, the notification bell <laughs> to know when our next video is live and drop a comment below. Let us know what you wanna see next. Just don't say social media crisis management. Okay, since you're still here, this is my professional opinion on handling a social media crisis. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Social listening tools can help surface problems before they blow up. If you're listening closely on social and you're acting on what you're hearing, then you can make things right before they go wrong. And if they do go wrong anyways, that's when you really need to start listening. Remember to sign up for your free 30-day Hootsuite trial. Here's a link for you. Tell them Nick sent you.